the real MC Mike smoking cigars and uh, cigars and cigs are totally different speaking for us yeah totally different gang you do not inhale cigars never inhale cigar smoke okay bad bad idea okay it'll kill you fast right? and it doesn't taste good this is a boulevard royal coronas okay and just so you guys know i i was an avid cigar smoker collector as well um i sold a little bit of cigars uh privately and working in an exclusive cuban cigar store for about a year and a half um, part-time day and a half a week because i wanted to be around cigars i wouldn't got a job at a cuban cigar store and uh, enjoyed it very much very much they had a walk-in humidor and i would sample all the cigars uh, there was days where as a retail salesperson and i was doing other things on the side i was doing geophysics i was doing other things as well right trading or whatnot uh, but as a retail cuban cigars person my best day uh, would have been probably sold around nine ten thousand dollars worth of cigars in one day uh, anywhere between eight to ten thousand dollars of cigars in one day uh, cuban cigars in general are expensive if you want to try a phenomenal cuban cigar phenomenal cuban cigar it's a little bit stronger on the stronger side the boulevards okay if you want to sample a phenomenal cuban cigar that is less costly than cuban cigars of the same caliber right this cuban cigar boulevard royal coronas uh i picked it up yesterday and it was like 32 dollars canadian okay expensive now for me i used to go to cuba pick up my cuban cigars boxes bring them back and whatnot working the cuban cigars i got great cuban uh, cigar deals and stuff like this but compatible to this this baby here it's like the hoyo de monterey monterey epicure number one epicure number two um it's like the uh, multiple other uh royal corona robusto this is a robusto size so all the other brands of robusto cuban cigars okay but it is cheaper it is anywhere between 20 to 50 uh, 20 to 40 percent cheaper than some of the other robusto size cigars now if you're smoking a cigar i'm going to give you a little low down here if you're smoking a cigar picking up a cigar first thing you want to do is you want to feel it right you should you shouldn't hear it crack the leaves should not be cracking right like there is no crack you don't want to hear that's too dry right you want to give a little bit you don't squish it really hard you don't go right just give it a little like this like doop, 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 right? very nice if there's a little bit of green mildew or mildew not green but mildew is white really on the leaf of the cigar you got yourself a phenomenal cigar it has aged fantastically okay this has got a little bit it's been aged well the cuban cigar store actually aged them pretty well okay see that little bit little bit so that's nice that's really nice okay you don't want to see stems of the leaves right now cuban cigars there there's three things happening inside here there's a filler there's the binder and there's the wrapper the filler is nice leaves this would be complete leaves put together crushed up they put the binder on it's a higher grade leaf and then the wrapper is the highest grade leaf because it makes it look phenomenal right beautiful beautiful smoke right now apologies if i'm not reading the chat gang okay and as the chat says since we're going to read it gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. now if you're going to be smoking this you can do a couple of things there's people that use hole punchers right there's a it's sort of like a rod that you can punch a hole through it 
You could use a cutter. There's different types of cutters, expensive cutters, cheap cutters. I usually don't use cutters for Robustos or any of the cigars of this type. For the Torpedoes, I do use cutters in general, okay? But for cigars of this gauge, and gauge is a thickness of the cigar, okay? Of this gauge, or even lower or higher, I usually don't use a cutter, okay? I forget what the gauge of this is. This should be like a 42 or something, or 44. 44 more, ah, probably 46 maybe, right? I forget the gauge numbers and whatnot. And before I, for me, I usually wet it, take a bite out of it, but I don't go. <laughs> what you do, this part of the cigar, by the way, they do the wrapping and then they use uh, usually tree sap, right? You use tree sap, Cubans do anyway, and then they put another wrapper top on top of this, so it's like a poop, sits on it like a hat. And I usually just take out a little bit here, right? You don't want to take the whole thing out, right? Because you're going to get bits of cigar tobacco in your mouth. You don't want that in general, right? And you just basically bite a little bit off that thick little nip from it. Just think about it as a nip. I'm just going to read a little bit of the chat. And gang, just so you know, I haven't smoked a cigar for a long time now. I used to smoke a lot. I don't I use it as meditative now but I haven't meditated with a cigar for a while this is about a 45 minute cigar 45 minute to an hour cigar you can make it last to about an hour and a half if you're going slow or take it down in half an hour which I've done both okay I'm gonna and it smells absolutely phenomenal I'm gonna have a little mm, taste of it okay You want to wet it a little bit. Now, by the way, gang, never, I don't share my cigars. Right? <laughs> no way, no how. If someone's smoking a cigar, I never go, oh, can I taste that? You, you don't do that, right? Uh, you could use a lot of different analogies for it, uh, where if someone's participating in something, enjoying a, something, uh, you don't go, excuse me, can I have a taste, right? It doesn't work that way with cigars. And one of the reasons, um, one of the things I do with my cigars as well, um, because you would have people come in and say, oh, can I have a taste? You go, no, 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 you can't taste the cigar. What are you talking about, right? Uh, I usually, some people, they're, this part, they keep dry. Some people keep it wet. For me, I'm usually wet with it, okay? I like playing with it, okay? The tongue does its thing. Okay. No more Jamaica. Oh, yeah. oh, man, I missed a lot of chat. My apologies, gang. I'm going all the way down to the bottom. And if there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. I want the cigar. Go oh, for us. Yes. And what you can do is just hold it here, right? And then when you're going to bite into it, Hold it here tight, tightish, right? So it doesn't move around. And then push the cigar into your teeth. And don't, you keep your teeth open just a little bit, right? And then you punch the cigar, push the cigar towards your teeth. And it bulks up between your teeth. And then you bite down. And that should give you a clean cut, okay? I got a brass kitty cat ashtray. All right. And here's a little bit of cigar that I took out. All right. See this? I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty small, pretty blurry. All right. Well, it was almost focusing. All right. See that? That's what I took out. And this is what it looks like. All right. Let's see. Is it going to focus? See that? That's what I took out. Now, you take that out, you're gonna smoke it, you're gonna get a clean smoke. And when you're feeling the cigar, you don't want any bumps inside the cigar, right? So if you're, if you're pinching a cigar to buy it, right? some places allow you to do it, some places don't. Don't manhandle the cigar, right? When sometimes you need to build a relationship with the cigar 
stores so they know who you are and you know how to handle cigars because these are expensive right so there's no lumps and bumps in here okay you can before you light it you can take a drag and it's a clean you get air coming in because the leaves have been rolled in a way where airflow is this way right so it's not bunches of leaves like little tobacco cigarette type of tobacco this is leaves and they're aligned in a way where the smoke goes from there here where there's free flow right and it's like a pipe okay now when you're lighting a cigar some people do the you don't want to do butane lighters no butane lighters okay no butane lighters you don't want to get butane into this right you can use matches wind matches right las vegas this is one of the matches i used to i i, I have a match collection and this is mirage from las vegas right you can use wooden matches right if you don't have wooden matches if you buy cigar boxes they come with cedar you can light a cedar little sliver and light your cigar with cedar that's the ultimate right that's the ultimate right i have a torch lighter this is literally one of the greatest torch lighters ever right and the first version of this i got was a gift from someone else who was working with at the cigar store now i hadn't pulled this out for a while right you hear that you won't be able to see the flame really let's see if you can see it do you see do you see the flame you don't see it really let's see it burns really hot gang see the flame burns really hot see it's gone oh i gotta do this with it because it hasn't been it hasn't been used for a while mm -hmm. so what i do is take the cigar and heat it up a little bit right make sure you get all the way around Wow. Do not inhale. Do not inhale. Okay. Now, as far as snacks go when you're smoking, okay. Lonely piggy, how are you doing? That Chicho aesthetic right now is crisp. Hello, hello, Don Chicho. Enjoy that. Oh, brother amazing amazing boulevard or royal coronas okay now when you're smoking there's going to be times where you're going to have to relight it there's going to be times where you're going to have to adjust the burn right you don't really want to be smoking in a very windy day or stand up in the wind and smoke sometimes you, you have no choice right sometimes a cigar goes out on you okay and you light it but before you light it you should ash it and ashing it you don't ash it like a cigarette or anything like that you should be able to give a little boop, like this just a little tap that's when it's ready to be ashed boop, little tap and the ash falls the longer the ash the sweeter the cigar okay that's pure long leaves they've used x how are you doing hope you're doing well welsh dragons how are you doing hey Chicho, have you ever smoked a cigarello recently tried one yeah 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 cigarellos i i'm not a i don't smoke uh, cigarettes i don't smoke tobacco in general the only tobacco that i smoke really is cigars and 90 
99%, 95% of the cigars I've smoked in my life, 90, more than that, 99% of the cigars I've smoked in my life have been Cuban. Okay. Um, I find the other country cigars, I know there are some good ones, I've smoked some good ones, um, but I find the Cubans heavier, thicker, right? I got a little bit of gin here, organic gin, local from the island. Something simple drink. Smoky drinks are good. Gin, uh, scotch, whiskey, a cognac is good. Okay, any type of spirit goes phenomenal with cigars, as does do other drinks. Tea is phenomenal. Water. One of the best drinks you can have with cigars is water. Okay, it just cleans the palate. Okay. I don't chug water, I sip just the same way I would sip gin or any other spirit. And on the rocks is nice. What is the what does it taste like anyway? I haven't smoked anything except the herb. Um, but even that was years ago at this moment. Yeah, it's not like the herb. It's It's like a boulevard, really. The taste of a boulevard, a Cuban cigar, it's, it's unique, it's heavy, it's smoky, but it's like, have you ever had some phenomenal, phenomenal uh, smoked meats where they, there's a certain smoke flavor there? This is it, but without the, without the food flavor, it's the smoke and heavy, right? Like Boulevard is on the heavy side. Okay. Wobbin. If you use the pipe, you uh, fulfill the professor look. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At some point, I think I want to get into pipes. I have smoked pipes before, but one thing, I, one reason I didn't get into pipes is because from what I understand, if you smoke pipes, at least to the level I was smoking cigars in the past, if I smoke that many pipes, it would hurt the teeth because you hold the pipe in your teeth. I know, I know you're not supposed to, but people end up doing it. So you end up hurting the teeth. So you have to be careful with pipes. Dominican cigars, sure. Dominican cigars are very good. Opus Opus X is fantastic. I believe that's Dominican. Uh, the heavier gauge Opus X is really nice. They're lighter. They're much lighter than this. If it's your first time smoking, I do not recommend smoking a Boulevard Royal Corona. Okay. If you want to taste a light Cuban cigar, try the H Altman's. Okay. You want to go with the H Opmans if you're going to go with Cuban cigars. And this is not promoting smoking, by the way, gang. Uh, it's just a ritualistic thing. I consider uh, tobacco to be an ally. Unfortunately, corporations took tobacco, uh, tobacco which was really a healing herb uh, for the indigenous population where it was native, right? And they took something that was healing, right, medicinal, and they turned it into the biggest killer one of the biggest killers in the world for a number of decades right so i don't recommend smoking i recommend meditating i recommend having rituals in your life okay i recommend open discussion and if you've ever uh, gone to a cigar lounge and i've spent a fair bit of time in a cigar lounge the conversation can get heated the conversation can be sweet you could laugh your ass off you could you could be angry you could talk about politics economics sex uh drugs food health relation you can talk about whatever you want and there isn't a single person in a cigar store that i've ever met that has tried to silence someone else except for one person where they tried to silence me because we were talking politics and they didn't like what i had to say regarding the middle east right and everybody else was shocked at that person and that person lost their standing in such a heavy way when they tried to pull that kind of shit in a cigar lounge you cannot censor in a cigar lounge that is one of the rules of a cigar lounge 